heard that they got me on a tight leash But I'm a big dog like Argo Bobo in the lead, what he talking about? Cooking Chef T, what he talking about? Told me that the beef were unhealthy So we went green, what he talking about? Bobo in the lead, what he talking about? Cooking Chef T, what he talking about? Yeah. Yo, it's your boy Tyrell, and uh, we got Argos over here running around. <laughs> All right, today um, I actually bought Argos a spring pole. If you guys do not know what a spring pole is, spring pole is pretty much a tool uh, for dogs to help them exercise and build muscle. You pretty much hang it from a tree, and um, you know they can pull on it like tug of war. They can hang from it. It's supposed to be really good for building muscle and pretty much exercising. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually hang up the spring pole and I'm gonna show you guys everything. And we're gonna try to introduce Argos to the spring pole and see if he likes it. So I'm gonna go over to the table and show you guys what came in the uh, package. So you guys stay tuned. Argos is just running again. <laughs> Here we go. So it's supposed to come with something like this. This is like an older one that me and Argos used to play. He loves this, so I'm pretty sure gonna love the spring pole because <laughs> it has this attached to it so you see how he's pulling tug of war with me I guess it's strong it's pretty much gonna be the same thing except for instead of me being on the other end of it <laughs> it's gonna be hanging from the tree you think you're doing you stronger than me boy you think you're stronger than me boy yeah 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 so it's gonna be pretty cool man you're gonna go ahead and check and see this right here is what you're gonna wrap around the tree one end goes to the end of the spring right here. The spring is what, uh, you know, he can kind of pull it. You guys will see it comes with this tug toy, similar to the one that we have. And I got this on Amazon for about, it was like $40 or so. Everything comes together. So we're gonna go ahead and try to put this thing together. I have to find a good tree to put it on. This tree looks pretty good. I may use this one. That doesn't work. Got a lot of trees in my backyard. So we could probably use this tree as well. Look around there. And I have a tree over there in the corner too. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this tree. Cause this looks like the most sturdiest and this looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna try this one right here. Alright, so so far, kind of wrapped it around this tree with this hanging. This is kind of high off the ground, but you got to keep in mind the uh, toy that I have. Let me show you guys. This thing is a little bit long too, and I can always adjust it. But you guys see, this right here is pretty long. So let's see how far off the ground it goes. So if I put this here, let's see. it goes like this. So then, see? You know, see that? Argos, what he would do. There you go. Good boy. Hey, there you go. Good boy, he already getting hang of it. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Boy, good boy. Yeah, there you go. Just trying to figure it out. Boy, grab it. Go ahead. There you go. Love it, buddy. <laughs> He's gonna figure it out. 
There you go. Good boy. That's a good boy. Go ahead. Go. He's looking at me. What do I do? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, there you go, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. See? He's getting the hang of it. Good boy, Argos. He's gonna put some size on my boy, man. Once he figures it out, he's gonna start playing with it a lot more. He's just still trying to figure out what's going on. Come on. He like wants me to hold it. That's the thing. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Boy. Huh? Huh? Good boy. I think he's worried about the noise that it's making against the tree because Argos is scared of a lot of things. Once he figures out it's not like a threat or anything, he's going to start playing with it. Hey, buddy. Maybe if I put it like. Hey, there you go. Good boy. See, yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on. Can you get it? I can even probably wrap it around one more time, too. All right, so what I did was I actually connected both of them together. So it was like staying in one place instead of swinging everywhere. I think that's what you're supposed to do. This is my first time using a spring pull, so I'm learning as you guys are watching me live. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Argos, come. Come here. So this right here is a lot. It's just staying in one spot. You know what I'm saying? Let's try it, all right, Argos. Do the try, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Wow, good boy. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah, good boy. It's going to take him some time, but he's, he's trying to figure it out. And once he do, he's going to love it. Trust me. Come on. Yeah, there you go. He likes me holding it. Okay, I see. I'm like holding it from the top so he can, he thinks he's going against me, but it's really the spring. You guys see a spring action right here, spring power. What I'll do is I'll leave the link in the description for this as well, if some of you guys want to check it out. This is Argo's first time ever being introduced to it, so I'm not expecting him to be, you know, using it full-fledged on his own. Just introducing it to him, man. It's chapter one of it, man. Not even chapter one, the introduction. Before the book even start, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on. Where's she? There you go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Wow. Good boy, Argos. Get it. Get it. Just see you standing up. Oh, you try to swing on it. Yo, did y'all see that? <laughs> Good boy, yeah. Another thing you gotta keep in mind is that, you know, dogs are not naturally, you know, they're na their natural instinct isn't to play with toys, right? So if you introduce your dog to a toy, let's say you buy them like a, uh, a Kong or like a stuffed animal or something like that, naturally they're not gonna be inclined to play with that toy. You have to kind of introduce it to them. You know what I'm saying? And how you introduce it to them, you can give them treats when they play with it. When Argos was playing with a toy, that's connected to the the spring you heard me always say like good boy good boy like positive affirmations so he knows that it's okay to play with it like this is something that you can play with that's another thing you have to keep in mind like i said right now he doesn't even seem right now argos doesn't even seem like he's interested in the toy at all right now it's going to take some time like i said introduction right you know that it's here now he doesn't know much about it but once he Okay, he's gonna go with it. But once he, you know, get used to it, he's gonna start playing with it more. It's my job. What I'm supposed to do is, Argos, come here. Every now and then, just have this over here. Hey, come here. <whistles> have him play with it. Argos, come here. Every now and then, my job is to, come here. Come here, let's go, let's go, come on. Hey. Doesn't seem interested. But what I can do is I can go get some treats, and every time he touches this and play with it, I'll give him a treat. 
And I'm about to show you guys that right now. Now I don't have any training treats. I was already want some. I don't have any training treats, but I do have this right here, the Stella and Chewy um, biscuits. This is like a lot better than training treats. Training treats are a lot smaller than this. These are a lot bigger. So I will give him a few of these. I'm not gonna go crazy and give him a bunch, but every time he plays with the spring pole, so I get the focus. Every time he plays with the spring pole, I wanna give him one of these treats right here. All right, so you guys will see that. So I just gave him a treat just so he knows that I have them. And now we're gonna to try to work it over to this. Come. Argos, come. Come on. Come on, come on. Right here. Right here. No. Come on. Come. Hey. Come on. Let's go, let's go. No, not on me, no. Come. Come on. He's trying to figure out what I want him to do. Come. Right here. Nope. He's trying to uh <laughs> trying to get the treat. Come on. Let's go. Hey. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Right here. Right here. There it goes. Come. All right, so what I did was I kind of lowered it. It was up here, all up here, and I lowered it all the way down here. That way he can grab it from either the top, if he wants to, the middle, or the bottom. You know, that gives him more control over where he wants to grab it. At first, he can only grab it from like the middle or the bottom. Now he can grab the whole thing. So let's we'll see if he's, uh, see if he wants to play with it a little bit. It's all about experimenting, man. What? See, like, he's, he's prepared for me to give him a treat. So what I'm trying to show him is, hey, you need to play with it. Then I give you a treat. You know what I'm saying? You can't just touch it anymore. It's, it's the next step to um, introducing a toy or something like that to him. He's expecting a treat. I'm, sure I'm trying to tell him, hey, look, you got to play with it first. You know? You know? There you go. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And he loves tug of war, so this is going to be great for him. He's just trying to figure it out. And everything's still new for him. This is his first time. Like, you guys are seeing his first time ever playing with a spring, spring pole. Come on, Argos. Come on. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna make like a little series on my channel. This is an introduction, introducing him to a spring pole. And maybe the next video of him playing with the spring pole will be like chapter one. You know what I'm saying? He's playing with it a little bit more. I'm, I wasn't expecting him to fully be hanging from it and doing all this crazy stuff on day one. That's not how it works most of the time. Sometimes if you're lucky, they fall in love with it, you know, love at first sight kind of thing. But I know that like, I, would, I wouldn't have been surprised if that wasn't the case with Argos, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna continue to try it out. Oh man, it's gonna pee right here. We're gonna continue to try it out, trying out different adjustments, different heights and things like that. So this right here, he destroyed it. You know what I'm saying? Let him play tug of war all the time. So I already know that once he gets used to it, he's gonna win. See that? So maybe what I could do is maybe I can attach this to that. All right, so now I got this older one on here. I don't know, just, just experiment, man. Just to see. You know, he's used to this one, so maybe he'll like that more. See, he's more active to it. He's playing with it a little bit more because he's used to it. You see that? It's all about experimenting, man. And since I see that he likes that, I can raise it back up to a different level. Look at that. He's playing with it by himself. It's all about experimenting, man. Trying things out. The reason why I don't like this one is because it's uh, it's, it's ripped up a lot, you know. Did you see that? See how he's, he's pulling on it? 
He's working his back muscles, working his back, working his neck. Go ahead. I'll show you guys. You guys see that? You see the difference of him playing with it now versus when I first, you know what I'm saying, showed you guys? I guarantee if I raise it higher, all the way back up to here, he's going to play with it. And he's going to like be hanging from it and all that. That's the beauty of spring poles, man. You can either have it really low where their feet are still on the ground. You can have it really high where their feet are off the ground and it can jump. You just kind of adjust it the way you like. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, indoor, I'm going to play with him with this one so he get used to this toy. And then I'm going to hook it up just like how this one is. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Introducing my Pitbull Argos to a spring pole. If you guys are interested in that series of seeing his progress along the way of the spring pole, comment down below and drop a like letting me know. If this video does good, you know, if you guys are showing me that you want to see more of this, then I'll continue this series on and, you know, I'll keep recording and things like that. But uh, with all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Also, click the bell so you get a notification anytime I post. And I will see y'all next video. Argos, you wanna say it? You wanna say it, man? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh -huh. Friday nights at the run and shoot. The run All the boys shoot. I played with left the game just to run and shoot. Run and Treat shoot. my life just like pirates. All I want is to loot. Yeah. I just want my parents living comfortable. Living comfortable. Everything you want, they say it's up to you. Yeah. Don't